The enigmas encircling our cosmos are exceedingly intricate and demanding. Nonetheless, the James Webb Telescope is spearheading transformative strides in space exploration. In a momentous breakthrough, the James Webb Space Telescope identified numerous colossal, unidentified entities lurking nearby in our cosmic expanse. This startling disclosure delves into the mysterious entities constituting 95% of our universe. What roles do these perplexing entities play and how will they augment our comprehension of the cosmos? Join us as we unveil how the James Webb Telescope has spotted 400 unknown objects traversing through space. You've probably heard about the Hubble Telescope, a marvel that bestows incredible vistas and insights into the cosmos. However, it now has a successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWWST for short. Since its launch on Christmas Day in 2021, this technological marvel has been delving into the farthest recesses of the universe, unveiling its ancient secrets. The JWST signifies a new epoch in space exploration, delving deeper into the cosmos's mysteries than ever before. Distinguished from the Hubble, it excels at probing the infrared segment of the electromagnetic spectrum, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust clouds that often obscure celestial objects from our view. The JWST's true distinction lies in its advanced technology, featuring high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, enabling it to detect objects too aged, distant, or faint for the Hubble to capture. By capturing cosmic signals, the JWST offers unparalleled insights into the universe's birth, galaxy formation, and the enigmatic realms of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, with its unseen but substantial gravitational influence, remains a cosmic puzzle. Yet the JWST continues to unveil more details about such cosmic entities. How does it discern these hidden objects in space, and what implications does it hold for the cosmos's future? The JWST's primary mirror, an engineering marvel consisting of 18 hexagonal segments coated with a thin layer of gold, spans an expansive 26.3 square meters. This allows it to collect a remarkable amount of light, generating detailed celestial images. Positioned at the Sun-Earth Lagrange 2 point, approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the telescope enjoys an unobstructed view of the cosmos over four times the distance to the moon. While this extensive distance poses challenges for maintenance and repair, unlike the Hubble, it also shields the JWDUST from Earth's atmosphere, reducing interference and providing clearer, more precise observations. Unlike the Hubble, which received several servicing missions, the JWST is situated significantly deeper in space. Moreover, the advanced infrared instruments on the JWST are invaluable for studying the atmospheres and compositions of gas giant exoplanets, offering insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own. Fortified with a sun shield, a massive protective layer roughly the size of a tennis court, comprising five ultra-thin membrane layers, this shield acts as a formidable defense against the sun's intense heat and the radiations emitted by Earth and the moon. Weighing around 6,500 kilograms, the telescope's advanced design and meticulous engineering ensure its smooth operation in the harsh space environment, allowing it to fulfill its ambitious mission of peering deep into the cosmos. With these capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope has made significant progress in unraveling the universe's mysteries. Recently, it unveiled hundreds of ancient galaxies, potentially among the first members of the universe. These findings provide fresh insights into how the initial galaxies and stars formed, shedding light on the cosmic processes shaping our current cosmos. 
However, the JWST isn't solely a window to the past, it's also a key to foreseeing the cosmos's future evolution. Essentially, it serves as a cosmic time machine, enabling us to witness the universe's early light and track the progression of galaxies through time. In a remarkable revelation, the JWST has disclosed a dusty ancient book of the universe, revealing hundreds of remarkably old galaxies that existed merely 600 million years after the Big Bang. This astonishing discovery stems from the JWWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, a vast international project. Harnessing the JWWST's remarkable observational capabilities, scientists focused on two celestial areas, one directed towards the Ursa Minor constellation and the other towards the Fornax Cluster. The revelations were staggering. More than 700 youthful galaxies previously unseen, emerged through the lens of the telescope. Kevin Hain, an assistant research professor at the Stewart Observatory in Arizona and one of the lead authors, likened this breakthrough to the opening scenes of a cosmic life movie. These galaxies, in their early stages, initiated the elemental creation process, a precursor to the complexity we witness today. During the universe's infancy, Within the first 370 million to 650 million years, a surprising 717 of these nascent galaxies were identified, a higher number than initially anticipated. This implies that over 700 galaxies existed when the universe was still very young. Comparable to a handful of elementary school kids suddenly evolving into an entire school district overnight. These galaxies each spanned thousands of light years across, similar to our Milky Way's width, already forming complex structures and giving birth to stars in multiple clusters, as if sprinting right out of the gate at full speed. Before this revelation, the earliest observable galaxies seemed no more than faint smudges. However, with the JWST's capabilities, these smudges transformed into extended objects, revealing visible structures similar to a blurry photo sharpening into focus. A fascinating phenomenon to witness. The specific regions where these young galaxies were discovered are collectively known as Goods South, a segment extensively studied by major space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and NASA's retired Spitzer Space Telescope. Despite the comprehensive scrutiny by various high-profile telescopes, an astonishing 93% of the galaxies spotted by the Webb Telescope during the JADES project were completely new discoveries. The universe was harboring secrets, awaiting our technology to reach the level needed to unveil them. Before this enlightening discovery, astronomers primarily observed the celebrities of the early universe, which were the bright, extreme galaxies. However, the JWST's recent findings introduce us to the average inhabitants of the cosmos, the everyday galaxies navigating through an infant universe. Curiosity might lead one to ponder how the cluttered, dusty universe of the past transformed into the clear, transparent cosmos we know today. Scientists have been contemplating a crucial phase known as the Epoch of Reionization, thought to have started roughly 400,000 years after the Big Bang, a period when the universe was a newborn, opening its eyes to the world. During this phase, the first generation of giant stars emerged, massive and millions of times brighter than our sun. Their ultraviolet light kick-started reionization, transforming the opaque universe into the transparent one we see now, a monumental process continuing for about a billion years post-Big Bang. However, some astronomers propose another contender, supermassive black holes. They suggest these giants, like the one in the heart of our Milky Way, might have influenced the cosmos by aiding the escape of ultraviolet radiation from galaxies, shaping the universe's evolution more significantly than previously thought. Surprisingly, the JWET isn't collaborating with just one team. 
Another group from the Jades program is studying galaxies that existed between 500 to 850 million years after the Big Bang, an action unfolding just five to eight minutes into our cosmic movie. Within these moments, the universe has already matured, offering new mysteries to solve. This team might have cracked a cosmic code, uncovering answers to long-standing questions about the universe. According to Ryan Ensley, a researcher at the University of Texas leading this study, they're deciphering the impact of galaxy formation on the broader universe's composition. In the early universe, galaxies had a more chaotic approach to forming stars, energetic and unpredictable youngsters. This adds another layer to our comprehension of how our universe took shape over time. The team's investigation into early galaxies for signs of star formation, focusing on how starlight ionized the gas within these galaxies, revealed fascinating insights into the universe's evolution at that time. They stumbled upon the intriguing discovery that one in every six galaxies showed extreme line emissions in their spectra, indicating a bustling production of stars in the youthful galaxies. The torrents of ultraviolet photons from these early stars played a crucial role in driving cosmic reionization, transforming the universe from a dusty, opaque expanse into the clear cosmos we see today. Yet, these galaxies don't stand alone in captivating revelations. Scientists have identified the oldest intricate organic molecules in the cosmos. These molecules, resembling those in Earth's smoke and soot, were discovered within an early galaxy that existed when the universe was merely 10% of its current age, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAH. These complex molecules are common on Earth, found in oil, coal deposits, and even city smog. Unlike simple molecules like water or carbon dioxide, PAH are intricate, sizable structures with dozens or hundreds of atoms. Remarkably, these molecules were intricately assembled and present in the universe during its infancy. Widespread in space, akin to grains of sand on a beach, these complex organic molecules often cling to tiny dust grains in the cosmic expanse. They offer valuable insights into interstellar gas cooling rates, functioning like miniature thermostats that influence the temperature of the gas between stars. Understanding these molecules becomes crucial for astronomers seeking to comprehend the intricate processes shaping the cosmos. For years, astronomers yearned to study these molecules in distant galaxies formed during the universe's youth. However, the historical limitations of telescopes hindered the detection due to sensitivity and restricted light wavelength ranges. Enter NASA's latest powerful space observatory, the JWST. Using this cutting-edge tool, Spilka and his team identified complex organic molecules in the galaxy SPT041847, an astounding 12 billion light-years away. The revelation that these molecules were found in a galaxy so distant implies they existed when the universe was a mere 1.5 billion years old, a fraction of its current 13.8 billion years. It's akin to receiving a message sent across the expanse of space, arriving at our doorstep after a journey spanning 12.3 billion years. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, illustrating masses' ability to distort space-time, serves as the theoretical backdrop. Gravitational lensing, a phenomenon where a massive galaxy cluster acts as a magnifying glass, played a pivotal role in the discovery. The JWWST, a revolutionary space observatory, surpassed its predecessors by detecting these molecules in just an hour, making the search appear effortless. The JWST not only confirms the existence of complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies, but goes further by offering detailed insights into their specific locations within a galaxy. In the case of SPT041847, 
researchers observed a non-uniform distribution of these molecules across the galaxy, a mystery that remains unsolved. Compiling these discoveries, Spilker proposes that galaxies might have experienced an exceptionally accelerated pace of formation. For instance, the galaxy they studied, despite being only a tenth of the age of our Milky Way, boasts a comparable mass and has produced similar amounts of carbon and oxygen. This vivid analogy illustrates how early galaxies were fast-tracked in their evolution. Interestingly, these complex organic molecules were previously thought to be closely associated with star formation. However, the JWST's data challenges this assumption. Spilker's team found regions rich in these molecules, devoid of star formation, and vice versa. This unexpected observation underscores the universe's ability to surprise us as our understanding deepens. These intriguing findings emphasize the JWST's role in unraveling cosmic mysteries. Spilker expresses excitement about the telescope meeting astronomers' expectations, foreseeing these insights propelling the astronomical community's collective knowledge forward. Looking ahead, he's curious about exploring even younger and more distant galaxies, pondering whether it's plausible to discover a galaxy where these large molecules simply haven't had enough time to form. He's also eager to understand why these molecules appear in certain regions of galaxies, but not in others. It's a waiting game to delve deeper into these cosmic puzzles and unearth further revelations. The age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe has also intrigued humanity for centuries. Despite the countless celestial entities sparkling in the firmament, the possibility that Earth is the sole harbinger of life remains uncertain. While researchers have identified over 5,100 exoplanets in nearly 3,800 systems, confirming extraterrestrial life or identifying habitable planets remains a challenge due to vast distances. Rohan Naidu, a young astronomer at Harvard University, stumbled upon yet another groundbreaking discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Using a special algorithm, Naidu examined NASA's first deep field image, a picture capturing light that has journeyed billions of years through space. This image offered not just a view of celestial bodies, but a glimpse into the distant past, showcasing a spectrum from red, which is the oldest light to blue or white, the most recent ones. On that fateful evening in July 2022, Naidu's algorithm identified a galaxy named Z13 that defied convention. This galaxy, almost 13.4 billion years old, shockingly challenged the Big Bang Theory's timeline. According to existing models, the universe, born from a single point in the Big Bang, transitioned from hot, dense particles to form hydrogen and helium. Stars emerged 150 million years later, eventually coalescing into galaxies over a billion years. However, Z13's existence, nearly 400 million years post-Big Bang, contradicted this theory. Z13's discovery triggered a myriad of similar galaxies, unsettling the foundation of the Big Bang theory. Advocates of this theory were troubled, as evidence suggested a different cosmic structure and origin story. The mystery extended to dark matter and fundamental forces, where scientific assumptions collided with the James Webb Telescope's revelations. The unprecedented insights questioned not just the Big Bang's timing, but the universe's very beginnings. Another anomaly in the form of the mysterious Schrodinger's galaxy, Sia 1749, emerged as it existed 200 million years after the Big Bang, seemingly out of sync with its cosmic surroundings. This galaxy challenged measurements, emphasizing the limitations of current methods. Redshift, 
a key factor in measuring cosmic distance, revealed a surprising array of galaxies with ancient origins. Hubble's finding of a galaxy with Redshift 11 was groundbreaking, but James Webb's data surpassed this, unveiling galaxies with Redshift values reaching 20. These revelations startled astronomers, prompting a frantic effort to reconcile JJWST's observations with established cosmological models. With galaxies like Glass Z13, estimated to be 13.5 billion years old, and Sears 93316, possibly even older, it challenges our understanding of cosmic chronology because these ages are significantly older than the estimated 13 0.8 billion years since the Big Bang. In addition to unveiling ancient galaxies, JWST's recent breakthrough included the detection of exoplanets. The telescope's ability to analyze minute changes in starlight and spectra allowed it to detect exoplanets with unprecedented precision. LHS 475b, an Earth-sized rocky exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star became the first planet analyzed using JWST. Scientists are now deciphering its atmospheric composition, marking the initial step in potentially identifying life-supporting conditions on distant planets. The limitations of JWST in seeking the edge of the present-day universe are quite clear. It captures light that has traveled for varying durations across space before reaching us. For instance, the light we see from our neighboring stars in the Centauri system takes around four years to reach Earth. Consequently, the telescopic images portray celestial objects as they appeared in the past, making it impractical to view the existing universe's outer limits. Moreover, the universe's expansion, a fundamental concept since the Big Bang, remains under scrutiny. Dark matter, a mysterious element shaping the universe's structure and expansion, continues to baffle scientists, and JWST's expected contributions to understanding dark matter are eagerly anticipated, potentially filling crucial gaps in our cosmic comprehension. Nevertheless, the telescope's first strikes into probing dark matter are still pending, leaving astronomers eagerly awaiting potentially paradigm-shifting results. Dark matter, despite its hidden nature, is deemed an integral cosmic constituent, forming the foundational structure of the universe. However, its defiance of conventional physics puzzles scientists, raising concerns about our current understanding of the cosmos. The spatial implications of JWST's continued findings are profound. A mismatch between observations and established theories could necessitate a complete overhaul of our understanding of the universe's origins. As scientists grapple with these mysteries, they're left pondering the accuracy of existing theories and the prospect of redefining our cosmic history. The known observable universe stretches approximately 13.5 billion light years, a fraction of the universe's total size. This observable cosmos within JWST's viewing radius measures about 28.5 gigaparsecs. Yet the universe's actual size remains a grand mystery with an estimated event horizon, a boundary marking our observational limit at 16 billion light years. While JWST's capabilities are impressive, its range is finite. Beyond this limit lies a domain obscured from our current technology. Nonetheless, astronomers remain optimistic about reconstructing cosmic events through advanced computer simulations. Questions surrounding life on other planets, the mystery of dark matter, and the universe's edge remain unanswered. The JWST's mission unfolds against this backdrop of cosmic intrigue, promising transformative insights into the universe. As we navigate these cosmic riddles, the James Webb Telescope stands as a scientific successor to Hubble, made to delve deeper into the universe's origins, study distant galaxies, and analyze extrasolar planets in unprecedented detail. 
The telescope, designed specifically for infrared astronomy, holds the promise of unlocking secrets hidden in the earliest reaches of our cosmic history. And gradually, it's reaching there. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Save Earth Now. Make sure to check out another of our interesting videos by clicking on the link appearing on your screen right now.